Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at doing a minimal KDE install. We're also going to look at a couple other install methods that will give us some more features on our desktop and some more applications. Before we get into it though, I just want to talk about some of the challenges with a minimal KDE install. It's not quite as modular as GNOME is with some of the dependencies, and I'll show a little bit of that later. Also, I'm a little less familiar with KDE overall because it's not my preference. It's a perfectly good desktop. I have used it before. It, it's very functional. Um, and, you, and there's going to be some ways in here that I set things up that are pretty minimal. You don't have to do it my way. One example would be I don't include the graphical tool for managing software. I prefer to use the terminal, but that's just my way. You know, you, you choose what works best for you and what you like best. And I just prefer less clutter all, overall with the applications I have installed. Again, that's just my preference. You do whatever works best for you. And so one more thing before we get into it is I do have a minimal GNOME install available. So I'll go ahead and include a card for that if you want to check that video out. And so the first method we have is the most minimal install, I would say with the least amount of headache. And so I'm not saying this is absolutely the only way to get a minimal install. I just found this to be the easiest way to do it. And while I like to do a lot of DIY stuff, sometimes I don't like to shoot myself in the foot by creating extra headaches. And one last thing I want to mention before we get started is this is Plasma 5. Plasma 6 is out, but I don't know if or when that will be available for Debian 12. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into our install. So with This command, this is what we'd get to install it. We get a lot of packages installed here, but we can do better as far as doing a more minimal install. And to do that, we're gonna go ahead and use the no install recommends flag with apt. And so let me just pop our command in here. And so our no install recommends flag is going to skip recommended packages. By default, the package manor, manager always includes the recommended packages. I normally don't skip recommended packages on my desktop. There might be better reasons for that if you're trying to install a server and the extra functionality isn't required. In this case, this is what I found to be the best way to do a minimal KDE install. Running through the packages we have here, Obviously, KDE Plasma Desktop is going to be Plasma itself. SDDM is the logon manager slash greeter. That's what we'll see when the system first boots for logon. That QML module was required to get the KDE menu working correctly. And the KWIN X11 package was required to provide functions for managing windows, such as minimizing, maximizing, resizing, moving windows. So. Once I had all that installed, our system was working pretty well. I did not extensively test, but with this minimal install, everything appeared to work pretty well. If we go ahead and enter our commands here. This is what we get using this method. I'm gonna go ahead and let this run. And once this completes, we'll come back and check out the install. All right, and now the install is complete. I'm gonna flip over to the console here. I'm gonna start graphical target. So system, CTL, start graphical target. And here, now we get our greeter. So our install is up. And one thing to point out about this method is that the only available option is X11. Thing about that with KDE5 is from what I read in the documentation, because I had tried to figure out a way to get a Wayland only install without all the X11 dependencies, is not possible because Wayland was added experimentally there. So you can have it where you have a Wayland session and Wayland is the default, but you need the X11 stuff. In six, I believe there's going to be a way where you have just the Wayland dependencies, but don't quote me on that 100%. I'd have to look into that more to verify that. So for now, this is how we can get our most minimal install with X11. And so if we go ahead and log in, you 
can see that we have our KDE install and this is what it looks like as far as the apps that we have minimally here. And so the applications you see here are as minimal as I could get it without actually wanting to uninstall KDE Plasma itself. We'll take a look at that later in another install, but for now, this is what we have. And one thing we might want to add here is the system settings app. Just some more options to manage your settings. And while there is an option with the scripting language available for KDE to manage those settings, I'm not going to cover that here. So let's just take a quick look at what we have available now with the settings and all the things you'd expect to see to manage our basic settings. So that covers that. One last thing I want to mention is where we're sitting at for space and what it looks like with this install. So as of right now, we're looking at about 3.1 gigs. Minimal GNOME install is about three. So it's around the same amount of space between the two. And so that pretty much covers the most minimal install options. Now I'm gonna jump over to another option that gives us Wayland if, if that's what you want. And it gives you a little bit more out of the box if you don't want to install things individually. So switching over to our other option, you can see that we have Wayland or X11 here. So let's go ahead and log in. We get some more out of the box here as far as what's installed. And so you have some items that can be removed and I will include all of this in the description. These could be installed without a major impact. You probably are fine just leaving them and if this is what you want, but if you do wanna trim down a little bit, these can be removed. And so that moves on to checking what we currently have as our space for this. And so this option is sitting around four and a half gigs. If we go back to something we discussed about the challenges of installing a minimal KDE desktop, if we look at our app cache, look at our reverse dependencies, or console. And then if we check KDE base apps, we see that through these dependencies, if I try to remove console, it's going to try to remove the entire desktop. And so we would reboot our system and we would come back to an issue where we would have no desktop installed, which is not really what we want. And so our last thing here, flipping over to another install, even though this is not really a minimal install, this is more like the full install and then some, this includes the packages, KDE Plasma Desktop and KDE Standard. So this is everything. I just wanted to include this in case you are interested in a method that gives you basically a full set of applications available for KDE. And if we just check this out, this comes in at about five gigs of space if you install everything. So wanted to point that out. Again, that is the packages for that are KDE dash plasma dash desktop and KDE dash standard. And I will also include this in the description so that you can just copy it out of there. So that pretty much covers all of this. The only thing that's left really is there is an option to install for source. What I saw from the documentation, that was mostly to prepare it for a development style install so that you can assist with developing on KDE. Uh, it's probably totally possible to do that and have a fully functional KDE install. There may be other ways also to kind of trim some of those dependencies off. So it could be the way that it's packaged. 
that also leads to this is probably going to vary from distribution to distribution depending on how it's packaged for your distribution and what's required this is specific to debian so if i do see that there's a lot of interest in the comments you know let me know and i will do more research into doing an install from source and see what i can come up with and see if it's viable to make a video and so if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful i'd appreciate it if you'd like the video and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching